Why, hello, boys. Are you in need of a gay best friend to tell you how you should be wearing your hair? Have you been wearing your hair the same for years and need a change? Are you concerned if you cut your hair, it won't look good? Well, lucky for you, I'm here for you today to give you some major, major life-changing hair advice. So, after you watch this video, you're gonna know exactly what your face shape is and what haircut will look the best for you. All right. So first, let's figure out what face shape you have. First up, we have oblong. This is what an oblong face looks like, and that usually means that your face is longer than it is wide. So your face is just this way instead of this way. Take a rectangle, get rid of the edges. That's an oblong face. And next we have an oval. An oval is exactly what it sounds like. It's an oval. This is what an oval looks like. If you have an oval face, you have an oval face. An oval face is a bit skinnier than an oblong face and has no harsh edges. A diamond face has a strong jaw and angular cheekbones, as you see here in this lovely diagram over here. Hello. So your jaw is gonna go pointing this way and your cheekbones are gonna go pointing outwards and back in at the top. You're not really gonna have a fully diamond face, but they're really just talking about this area from here to here. It goes out and back in like a diamond does. Ooh, 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 ooh. A round face is equal in length and width. You know what a circle looks like. If your face looks like a circle, you have a round face. If you have a round face, your face tends to be a little bit more full than the average person, and you have barely any angles to your face. So it's very full all around with no sharp edges, no strong jawline or anything like that. And the opposite of round is gonna be square, which brings us to our next face shape. A square is gonna be very, very, very angular, all right? You're gonna have that very sharp jawline. Everything is going to be very equal on both sides, very wide, but also very sharp. This also tends to be the most masculine looking face shape. And the triangle face shape, which is slightly, almost a little bit more masculine than the square face. It has a very, very prominent jaw that is even wider than the cheekbone. So if your jawline protrudes farther than your cheekbones, you probably have a triangular face shape. All right, now that you successfully figured out your face shape, congratulations. And if you didn't figure it out, rewatch the beginning of this video, look in a mirror, you'll figure it out. Now that we know your face shape, we can move on to what haircut will look best for your face shape. Now, what is the goal? What are we trying to get done here? So whenever you ask somebody what the best haircut is for your face shape when you are a male, typically they're giving you advice on how to make your hair look the most square it could possibly look. That is because a square face shape is the most masculine face shape and the most desirable for men. So in this next part, I'm gonna tell you how you can make yourself look the most masculine as possible with the correct haircut to take away the bad features and bring the good forward. So if you are not trying to look as masculine as possible, this might not be the best video for you. And by no means do you have to look masculine if you are a male. You can look feminine, you can be androgynous and beautiful, and if you're trying to make your face shape look more feminine, then maybe you should head to my other video where I explain what is the best face shape for females. So if you are a male, you want to look more feminine, head to that video and you'll see because I do not mean to say that if you're a guy, the only way you can wear your hair is to make yourself look more masculine. But if your goal is to look as masculine and powerful and handsome as possible, then you've come to the right place. And let's finally get into the part where I tell you what haircut will look the best for your face shape. Let's do it. Hold on. Sorry, I, I know I, I interrupted you while you were watching my video, but I have one thing to say. Today's video is sponsored by Green Chef. Thank you, Green Chef. And if you like food as much as I do, you're gonna not wanna skip over this part. If you didn't already know, Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company. And Green Chef can hook you up no matter what your diet is. Paleo, vegetarian, vegan, keto, pescatarian, gluten-free, and omnivore. Ooh, they got everything you need. Let's get a cooking. While I conveniently and easily cook this food, let me tell you why Green Chef is so convenient and easy. Let Green Chef do the meal planning, grocery shopping, and most of the prep for you week after week. Recipes include pre-made sauces, dressings, and spices, so you get more flavor and less time. Ingredients come pre-measured, perfectly portioned, and mostly prepped. You know what that means? You'll have more time to style your hair and go get the haircut of your dreams. I outdid myself. 
Again. If you guys would like $50 off, yes, $50 off your first Green Chef box, head to greenchef.us backslash bradmondo. Again, greenchef.us backslash bradmondo. It'll also be linked down below in the description box. I got you, girl. All right, well, I'm gonna continue to stuff my face off camera and you can continue watching my video. So the oblong face, like we talked about before, is longer rather than wider, and it's basically a rectangle without the edges on it. So with an oblong face, in order to make it look more square, we wanna take down on the length of the face. So we're gonna bring it from here to here. So how do we do that, you're asking? Well, I'm glad you asked me. You can always do a side sweat bang situation like this. You can do a full fringe like this. You can do a sort of bowl cut if you wanna be really trendy. Or if you are not here for the bang situation, like I recommend, and then you can always rock a shorter haircut. That way you're not bringing any bulk up here. So a pompadour like what I have right now on my head is gonna add to the length of your head. So you're trying to make this part as flat as possible. So generally you wanna keep your hair length as short as possible when you have an oblong face. That way you're not bringing any more attention and you're not adding length to your already longer face. If you have an oblong face, I would definitely not recommend having a full beard or anything like that. That's just gonna add to the weight of your face and make it look even longer than it already looks. So if you want some facial hair, just kind of like a little scruff moment. So add a bang or keep your hair short if you have an oblong face. Now onto ovals. This is an oval face. If you forgot already what an oval looks like, I know it's a hard one. And if you have an oval face, our goal is to make you look a little bit more angular with the type of haircut that you get. So I usually recommend to male clients with an oval face to get a fade because a fade like this one here, very short on the side and you have that little pompadour moment going on the top, usually it's gonna make your face look more angular because it's gonna give you that really sharp buzz cut on the side and then the length on the top. So that's gonna make a square shape on your head like this. It's gonna trick the eye when it looks up here and sees the angles that this part down here is more angular also. But if a really tight fade to pompadour situation like this is not your style, then you can also rock a haircut like this. Just make sure that the sides are slicked back as much as possible to give you that more angular feel on the sides. And then you can style the top as square as possible. Like I would consider this a square because it has that sort of flat surface over here and then it's a bit angular on the sides. So I hope that makes sense to you. So a little recap for the oval face, I would recommend doing a really sharp fade on the side to a pompadour or keeping your length like so and slicking the sides back and having the top styled in sort of a square formation. All right, that is for you oval people out there. That is how you should be wearing your hair if you wanna look more masculine. All right, moving on to the diamond face shape. So for a diamond face, we're trying to add width to the jawline. And you're like, Brad, how do you possibly do that with a haircut, with a men's haircut? Well, there's not really an easy way to do that with a haircut, but there is an easy way to do that with facial hair. So if you can grow a beard, if you have a diamond face, a beard would look amazing. And then go to a barber and get that beard trimmed into a nice square shape. That will make you look a lot more masculine and very handsome. So haircut wise, you can pretty much pull off anything because we're not trying to add length or take away length from the head shape. Your head shape is already quite nice. You just want to add length to your jawline. But you can sort of trick the eye by doing again, a more angular haircut. You can even do sort of a faux hawk situation. Diamond face shape, I think looks so good with long hair. You might not pair up long hair and masculinity all the time, but when you have a diamond face and you wanna add length down here, you have longer hair that maybe sits at your jawline, it's gonna bring a lot more length to your jawline and a lot more attention, and make your jaw look a lot sharper and more masculine. So I do think that with a diamond face shape, longer hair looks so, so good. You can also do a push back moment, but this this one's only really changeable if you grow kind of a beard and get it lined up nicely to make it look more square on your jawline. But otherwise, I mean, a diamond face shape is really, really nice on men. I consider my face a diamond, so I've rocked every hairstyle in the world. So if you have a diamond, you're in luck. For a round face, just like before, we're trying to add more angles to the face. So I recommend best case scenario, if you're willing to do any haircut, I would do a skin fade on the sides, which looks like this, to a pompadour, a short pompadour on the top. That way it's gonna give you the most angles possible for your face shape. So you're getting rid of all that hair on the side and it's gonna be perfectly straight up. And then you're getting that sort of boxy feel with the pompadour haircut on the top. You can even blow dry it out and add some hair as 
spray to really keep it in that boxy shape. That way your face will have a lot more definition. It'll make you look so much more masculine and just really handsome. I have seen a lot of guys with round face shapes get this haircut and it really, really changes them. Not saying you should do it, but you should probably do it if you have a round face, all right? But if you do not want a skin fade and you have a round face, then I would definitely recommend just having it really, really short on the sides, as short as possible that you're comfortable with and just making it very angular. Tell your barber or your hair stylist to make it very angular on the sides and then squarish on top. All right, so that is a round face shape. A square face, like I said before, is the most desirable face shape for a man just because it's very, very masculine. So if you have a square face, you can rock a lot of things. You can do a buzz cut. Buzz cuts look so damn hot on guys with square faces. So if you have a square face, get that buzz cut going. Come on, do it. Anything pompadour looks great. You can also do more trendy haircuts like a textured comb over. You can do bangs. You can do a side swept or you can do sort of a generic crew cut. Anything like that will work great for your face shape because you already do have the desirable face shape. The only thing I would say to stay away from is things that make a lot, a lot of volume up here. Nobody looks good with that. This is already a lot of volume for me. If I went any higher than this, my face shape would just look a lot longer and not good. So just stay away from that. Other than that, you're all good. You can do literally any haircut. Try something trendy. Try something new. There's a lot of things you can do. All right, and lastly, the triangle face shape, this one right here. For this one, I would generally say to stay away from facial hair or just too much facial hair, anything past the length of like a centimeter. When your jaw's already past your cheekbones, you don't wanna add any more length on it or it's gonna look really wacky and just like off misshapen and weird. So this face shape's perfect for a nice, like a little bit grown out haircut that ends kind of around your ears and meets at your cheekbones. That way your cheekbones look a little bit more prominent and wide. That way it meets up with your jawline and makes your face look all around more square. This is kind of a picture of what I'm talking about. I would not recommend doing a buzz cut or anything really short with this haircut because it's gonna accentuate the fact that this part of your head is smaller and this part of your head is way bigger. I would off balance your wide jaw with a little bit more of a mid-length haircut or a bit of a longer haircut ending at the cheekbone. So mid-length haircuts, really any of them are perfect, but just nothing too, too short and no beard hair. Preferably. And we're done. So I hope you guys learned what your face shape is and what haircut would go best for your face shape. I have said face shape probably three billion times in this video and I wanna never say it ever again. And if you've ever considered coloring your hair, then lucky for you, I have a whole video that tells you what color would go best with your skin tone. So if you wanna see that video, it is linked below for you, of course. And that is all for today. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias at BradmanNYC, they'll all be link below for you and thank you so much for watching don't forget to live your extra life and i will see you all next time peace